Here we are looking underneath the hood of our 1956 Chrysler Windsor. What we have here is a Skyfire V8 motor. Okay. We'll first start off with the power brake booster and master cylinder which are located directly above and below each other. Right on the side here we have our factory windshield washer bag. And another part of the power brake boosting system. Taking a look at the top of a motor, which of course we have our air cleaner. Right next to that we have our power steering pump reservoir. And right mounted to the top, right next to it, we have our generator. And we have our 12 volt battery located right here in the front. Our radiator. And of course, we have our cooling fan and belt that drive all the equipment. And if we go ahead and start the car, Starts right up. See our fan and alternator spinning away? Excuse me, generator. <laughs> No ticking, no banging. There we have it. Taking a look inside the interior of our 1956 Chrysler Windsor. We first start off with our steering wheel. Right on the center we have our power steering logo signifying that it does in fact have factory power steering. And the horn, or if I turn on the key, works. And right next to the driver's side door we have our shifter buttons, where if I was to simply press the button in, I would, it would, des I would decide what gear it would go into. And right below we have our handbrake, where if I pull it out, it locks the car up. And also as a added feature, it does signify that the brake light is on, so when I do release it, it goes off. Our odometer and speedometer, with the odometer reading 75,551 miles. And of course right in the center we have our brake light as well as our blinkers. So if I was to simply driver side as well as passenger side. And on the right side of the steering column we have our gauges telling us what is going on. All work, amperage, 
fuel gauge, the oil, as well as the temp gauge. On the bottom here we have our blowers. Simply slide to whichever degree of warmth or coolness that we want. And of course we have our ignition switch where if I turn the key starts the car. And located in the center of the dashboard, we have our switches to operate our lights, the wipers, which if I turn the key on, are in fact working. Our lighter, or if I simply press it in, it will become hot and I can light my cigar or cigarette. Our panel lights, for our dashboard and a map dome light which does in fact work. Our glove compartment with sticker We have our Chrysler Scripture located on the dashboard. As I move along to the bottom, we have our cowl vent for cool air to be blown into the car when in motion. Simply slide it to open it and slide it to the left to close it. And of course, right in the center, we have our AM radio, which does in fact work. And there's the interior of our 1956 Chrysler Windsor.